Hi, this is Susie from the Five Waiting Wombs. Today we're talking about our favorite products that we use while trying to conceive. So to start off, I'm going to start with my prenatal vitamin. Um, it's a good idea to be taking a prenatal vitamin at least three months before getting pregnant because you want to be sure all the vitamins are in your system. So I've been taking prenatals for a long time. They're just generic Costco. They're called uh, Nature Made. So basic prenatal vitamin. They have all the requirements that my doctor gave me for what a prenatal should have. So they're pretty complete. Um, I never had any problems with them, with making me sick. I know some people have issues with that. Just basic prenatal. Um, they're not even too big to swallow, so yeah, they were good. Um, next thing would be um, ovulation tests and pregnancy tests. Now I know if you go to like Target, you can buy any kind of basic like first response um, pregnancy test or ovulation kits. Those are a little bit more expensive. I have used those before, um, but I find the ones that they sell at Big Lots and Dollar Tree, those type of stores, have worked just as well. So these, this is a two pack of pregnancy tests, and uh, the two pack was a dollar and ninety cents. So. Yeah, they're a pretty good deal. Um, someone also suggested ordering off of Amazon, so I'll put the seller's link in the sidebar. And I know eBay also has good deals on this, so I haven't used them yet. But, you know, the ones from, like, Big Lots worked pretty well, so I'm pretty sure these will be fine. Um, you got 40 ovulation sticks, strips, they're strips, and 10 pregnancy tests for $12. So with two dollar shipping so that was a pretty good deal so I'm excited to try these next month they come in a little packet they came in the pouch um, they came really fast like I ordered them and a couple days later they're really quick shipping so um, good price um, other things um, basal thermometer you can watch Amy's video from yesterday on how to take your temperature if you've never use this as a way to track ovulation. This has actually been my favorite way to track my ovulation and I haven't been doing it lately but I used to do my temperature tracking all the time. Um, this is the thermometer I have. It's just a, again from Target it was like ten dollars. Um, it's digital so you can go watch her video in, in the list to see how to do this and you take your temperature every morning. And then the website I use to track my temperature is myfertilityfriend.com. So again, I'll put the link in the sidebar. It's a free website. There is a part that you can pay for and it gives you other information, um, more detailed information about your cycles. But you know, I've never needed to pay for it. You know, um, you input when you baby dance, it tracks a line graph of your temperatures. It pinpoints your ovulation day for you. Um, yeah, and it's all free. So that's what I've always used. Um, for iPhone or iPod users, there is a pregnancy podcast that I listen to now and then that I love called Pregtastic. So it's really great. They're really informative. Um, they talk all about all different things from trying to conceive to actually labor and birth. And so definitely check out Pregtastic. Also, there's an, an iPod app that's free, and again, there is one you can pay for, but um, there are several free ones. This one was the one I liked the best. It tracks your cycles, and you put in when you baby dance, it tells you when your fertile day is. Um, you can put little notes in it, like if you, took a, you got a positive OPK. It's kind of silly, but what I like about it is that it tells me how many days I have left. So rather than telling me what cycle day I'm on, it tells me like, okay, like here, I don't know if you could see that, two days left. So I don't know, it's kind of neat to be counting down and to see like how many days, because for me, I don't test until like my period's late. So if I know how many days left, it's kind of like, okay, so either my period's going to come or I could test or I could see how many days left. So that's, and this is period tracker light is the app for iPhone. Um, books, I have lots of pregnancy books that I like to read. Um, I read a lot of books mostly when I was pregnant, when I was first trying to conceive. Now they kind of sit on the shelf. Um, what to expect when you're expecting. I've read this more than once. 
it's kind of like the basics of everything. It's a good book. Um, I really like how it walks you through week to week where your baby's at. Um, I don't know. And then the, uh, there's a last chapter on complications and... I don't know. There's a section on pregnancy diet, what you should be eating, things, to, risks, hazards, things to avoid. It's kind of the basic pregnancy book everybody should read. Also, um, this was suge suggested by Carla the Bubble Lush. Um, getting pregnant. Meg also suggested this, and I ordered it not too expensive. I read most of it. It's really super detailed. It has a lot of different things in here, so um, it's a really good book. So definitely check that out as well. So those are my my things that I used trying to conceive the last two years. So I look forward to any comments, post comments below if, you know, what your favorite products are, what you use um, to help you try and get pregnant. So thanks. Hope everyone's having a good day and talk to you soon. Bye.